Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. We cover the world of sport, coast to coast, and border to border. The Nike hot seat needed a guest today, and I got one. He's a YouTube sensation out in Oregon. He joins us now. Does this young man, the host and the founder of Head Snaps and Headgear on YouTube and now on Takedown Wrestling Television, Gunnar Gillette. Gunnar, good morning. How are you? I'm um, good. I first of all want to congratulate you on a job well done on this week's episode of Takedown Wrestling. Uh, you had uh, communicated with me via uh, Twitter and, and Facebook and that, hey, watch my show. This is a show I'm producing about wrestling. What do you think? And uh, I, I got in touch with you. I liked what I saw. You asked great questions and, and uh, the athletes and coaches responded well. What got you started? with head snaps and headgear, your television show? Um, well, when my dad was a high school baseball coach, I'd say I was about six or seven years old, and then started doing the announcing for games, and I really liked that, so then I started a baseball show, and some people liked it, so then I started to do a wrestling show, and then it got bigger and bigger as the episodes came in. And you do some uh, outstanding posts, by the way, just out of the blue, things like one of my favorite shows, Rudy, okay? Um, I, like, I like what you say, some days are just doggone hard, and that's why you love it. And then you post a, a picture of wrestling's tough, that's why I love it. So you've got some interesting observations, but more than anything, you're dead on. You're right on target. Where does that come from? Um, well, I watch a lot of documentaries about wrestling and about sports and I like reading um, books like mostly biology books. Now you're a wrestler as well though right? Yes. And um, I understand uh, from all the newspapers and, and all and the coverage your brother is the state champion is that correct? Yes. Now how old is he? He's 11. And tell us his name. His name is DJ and uh, he's a pretty darn good wrestler. A pretty darn good wrestler. You guys are like best buddies, aren't you? Yeah. Is he in the room? Yeah. Is he going to walk behind your chair and put put his head into your shot? Um, probably not. He probably wouldn't do that, maybe. Is, is he probably shy about doing that? Um, I don't know. Sometimes he's shy, sometimes he's not. Well, i got to tell you, when I first talked to your dad and your mom and you and your brother, we were on a conference call, and I was just trying to think out loud about, you know, something that we could do to help promote you guys at Head Snaps and Headgear uh, and your various interviews. And I thought, well, you know what, if you can produce something that's tight, two, two and a half minutes, we can fit it into the TV show. So you gave it your best, but I based it on your previous performance uh, in interviews with, uh, you know, athletes and coaches. Who are some of those guys you've interviewed to this date, besides your most recent? Well, my very first episode was with R.J. Pena. Um, he was an All-American at Oregon State. My second episode um, was with a head coach at Liberty. His name's Eric Givens. He wrestled at Michigan State and Boise State. Um, Third episode would be. I'm trying to think. Was it Tim Harmon? No, Tim Harmon was episode six. Yeah. yeah, Tim Harmon was the sixth episode, and Rex Metcalf was the third episode, director of the Oregon Classic. You've and got you've got some interesting people that are following you, but nobody is uh, nobody's turning you down, including Samuel Colbray. And who else was on that particular episode with Samuel Cobra? Um, I had Travis Whitlake, um, Oso Digazua, and I also had Tyra Self. And, Sh and, and Sean Harmon, right? So, I mean, that was a pretty, pretty decent lineup of guests. And uh, you were able to get to the point, but these guys like talking to you, don't they? Yep. You and I talked about the idea of what it means to do an interview, and we agreed without knowing that we agreed. And you said that you liked having a conversation with people. Um, yeah. My dad was making me watch, like, 
WWE interviewers to help me get better. And I think I loved how they did they did their interviews because I mean, it was just funny watching them and like finding out things about uh, WWE wrestlers. And so I kind of developed kind of my own way of just like talking to the people, trying to find out what's going on with their program and with their wrestling right now. Folks, we're talking to Gunnar Gillette. He's in the Nike hot seat today, live from Oregon. And he is the host and founder of a TV and internet sensation called Head Snaps and Headgear. Now, I'm going to ask you to follow him on Facebook. And Head Snaps is one word, and then the and sign, okay? And then Headgear. And by the way, that's the capital N sign. So Head Snaps and Headgear. Headgear is two words. Look for him on Facebook. Follow him there. You're also on Twitter, aren't you? Uh... Yeah, the Twitter handle is Gunner Gillette. Gunner Gillette. The Twitter handle is Gunner, Gunner Gillette. So you've been in contact with other broadcast media from wrestling, including uh, Jason Bryant, myself. Who who else have you been talking to? Um, That's about it, probably. Okay. Um, a lot of wrestlers that I've interviewed have um, liked my videos and commented, but... The most recent was you and then Jason Bryant wants me to be on a short time podcast. Is that right? Jason Bryant does too? Yep. Well, I'll tell you what, that'll be a good conversation as well. Most recently, you had an opportunity to talk to Josh Roden. As a matter of fact, you chose Josh Roden as the interview you wanted to do to have on Takedown Wrestling Television. And uh, Josh said, sure. Well, Josh has been a guest of ours many times as well. But you were able to ask him some questions that, well, I hadn't asked him. Where did those questions come from? Um, well, mostly just, like, watching some dual highlights and um, uh, watching a lot of stuff that helps me figure out what's going on in wrestling, much like takedown wrestling and global wrestling news, um, a lot of flow wrestling and... I was able to just think of some interesting questions. So, your your coach, your team, I understand uh, your episode on Takedown was shown to your class, is that right? Yes. What did they think? Um, a lot of them were like, Gunner, that's so cool. <laughs> like, how did you get into this? And um, I have a picture for overtime, which I didn't use for... Uh, the takedown episode, and a lot of them were like, Gunner, who is that? And it was a picture of me force staffing a guy. And I was like, hey, that's me. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> I love it. Your mom and dad, obviously, very instrumental in uh, uh, helping you reach your goals and do what you want to do, exploring, etc. Um, tell me a little bit about your mom, Kate. Um, my mom, she's she's great. She helps me with all the editing. She's trying to teach me. Um, and she got to edit in a lot of stuff and edit out um, some of the mistakes, which um, I got to be honest, there's not many mistakes now because I'm a lot better at it. And she's just amazing with the editing. You know, one of the things that uh, you do well is, is talk directly to um, your subjects and you listen to what they say you let them answer and you actually listen to what they say you're actually interested in their answer aren't you yeah and that makes a difference i think to to viewers and to listeners i, re I really truly believe that you know it is a conversation and you nailed it when we first talked and that's uh, that's what got me intrigued and enough to have you on the show and from time to time i find people uh, like you, they have an exceedingly high passion for the sport. Uh, you've been in it for five years. Your brother, I think, six. Is that about right? No, we both started at the same time. I started when I was five. He started when he was six. Okay. So this is our fifth year wrestling together. And do you guys, do you guys like that being? You're on the same team, right? Yes. And who's your coach? Um, Kevin King. I actually interviewed him for the fourth episode. And I gotta say that one was probably maybe maybe the funniest episode. 
What's Kevin think about you being an internet star? Does he expect more from you in the room during practice and workouts? Um, my coach always expects a lot from me and all the other teammates, but he kind of jokes around with me. One time I was late for practice and he goes, Gunner, who'd you get this time, Madonna? And that was pretty funny. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that I'd be that interested in talking with Madonna. <laughs> oh, man. So you've got your sights set pretty high. I understand you've set up a Skype account now so you can interview other people on Skype, not just those standing in front of you. Who are some of your first targets? Um, Have you, I know you take... I'm going to be interviewing uh, Jim Zaleski and Cody Brewer later today. And I'm really looking forward to that. But the person who's probably top on my list would be Anthony Robles because he uh, he's just a great inspiration. I read his um, biography and it was really good. You know, he only had one leg, but he had great uh, grip strength and uh, upper body strength. And he was able to use that to um, beat a lot of good people and win a national championship. Well, I think those are some great and inspirational uh, future interviews. I can't wait to see your work, uh, both uh, in front of the camera and Skype interviews. Looking forward to seeing what you send to us. Gunnar, you're a real pleasure to have in the sport, real pleasure to have in, in our business of media. Uh, my best to uh, your mom, Kate. Your dad, you said, is a coach, a baseball coach. Uh, did uh, he try to sway you toward doing a baseball type show? Um, not really. It's more of my grandma. Like, my grandma came to a few of the games, and she thought I was really good at broadcasting. So then, when I was like seven or eight years old, my grandma told me, "Hey, Gunner, you should do." baseball show. So then I started doing the baseball show and uh, about a hundred people started watching it and they liked it. So then I started doing a wrestling show to kind of, you know, do the same thing and it's fun too. And also to promote wrestling in the Northwest and all over the nation. And then it got bigger and bigger as the episodes came in. I'm excited to see your interview with Jim Zalaski. He's somebody I know very well and uh, a terrific conversationalist, but he knows this sport so well. Remember, he was trained by Dan Gable, right? Yep. Yeah, very, very talented head coach of Oregon State and the Mighty Beavers. Are you a Beaver fan? Um, definitely. Uh, Oregon, I was never a fan of Oregon. My dad had me brainwashed to Washington. But Washington doesn't have a wrestling program, so we got to go to Oregon State and go Beavers. Hey, I got to believe with your help, maybe you can help put wrestling back at Oregon and University of Washington. What do you think? Let's start the charge now. Um, well, in the first interview, I actually asked, um, I actually asked R RJ Pena if he'd like it if Oregon brought back their wrestling program and uh, he said he said yeah that would be great because I mean if Oregon brought back their wrestling program which they're really good football right now and a lot of kids like Oregon here especially if they live in Oregon and so maybe if they get a wrestling program a lot more kids will try wrestling out and maybe they will think they can wrestle in college and maybe some of them can. And more kids will stay in Oregon and Washington and attend college. How about that? Yep. Not everybody can go to Clackamas Community College and win national titles or go to Oregon State and challenge for uh, Pac-12 titles or challenge for NCAA championships, but uh, tell you what, we need more colleges in the great Northwest, and we need more media consultants and takedown correspondents, just like Gunnar Gillette. Gunnar, you've been terrific today. It's early there, and I know you've got school today. 
What class are you looking forward to attending? Um, math. Math is always really fun. Really? Uh, doing multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, you name it. Do they let you use a calculator? Um, no, but most of the time I like doing paper and pencil work. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, I'm more of an English guy, uh, not so much a math guy, but uh, every time we talk, you're winning me over, buddy. I hope you continue to do great work out there. My best to your family. Congratulations to your brother. State champ. Are you kidding me? That's outstanding. Thank you. I sure appreciate you joining me. You want to sign off? Sure. I'm going to chill out with head snaps and head gear telling you to snap that head and throw on some head gear. What I'm talking about, our Nike Hot Seat guest, very special takedown correspondent from America's Great Northwest has been Gunnar Gillette. Look for him online on Facebook, Head Snaps, all one word, and Headgear. Headgear being two words. And like him there. Follow him on Twitter as well. I'm Scott Casper for Takedown. We appreciate you watching and listening.